This is Tim Koch from DailyWildcat.com, and we're about to go inside the playbook to take a look at what the Arizona football team does most effectively on offense, the screenplay. You'll take a look here and you'll see what Arizona is on offense. They're in a traditional three wide receiver set, tight end to the right, slot to the left. The first type of screen we'll look at is called the quick screen. What this is, is an audible at the line of scrimmage. If the quarterback, Nick Foles, he sees that the cornerback is off the line of scrimmage, like you'll see here. He'll check out of the current play, whether it's a run or a pass, and throw a quick screen to the split end, who's either 84, Terrell Turner, 18, Dale Sean Dean, or 82, Jerron Kreiner. What he'll do is simple. He'll notify at the line to his wide receiver that this play is going to happen when he notices the cornerback here. That means that this wide receiver, once the ball is hiked, turns and faces, and faces the quarterback to catch the ball. The slot receiver then comes outside to cut off this man. Once the ball is thrown and this receiver catches it, he's supposed to go up the field this way and get as many yards as he can. It's not a big play that'll get you a touchdown, but if the cornerback is that far away and you have a receiver on the outside that's fast enough, it'll get you at least five yards every time. There are two other types of screens that Arizona runs to its wide receivers, and like the quick screen, they can be called as an audible on the line or called in the huddle. You'll notice in this situation that the cornerback is closer to the line of scrimmage, making these two plays much more accessible. The first one we'll look at is called a rocket screen, which, like a quick screen, is to the outside receiver. The outside receiver here, number 84, typically Terrell Turner, will come inside when the ball is snapped. He'll take the step behind the line of scrimmage like that, and then he'll literally rock it this way, coming toward the quarterback to make it a shorter throw and a shorter run. The slot receiver will either go out to the outside linebacker or nickelback, or if the outside linebacker shoots this way, he'll crack back and block the corner. Now what do you do with the outside linebacker? It's simple. You got linemen for a reason. The two linemen on the left side will pull outside and face the left, and then go up to the nearest man they see. It doesn't have to be the outside linebacker. They're basically coming back and looking for a zone. And now you'll see here with these lines indicating where the blocking is, once the receiver catches the ball here, he's just supposed to follow his blockers, find a seam, and get some yards. It's probably, like the quick screen, it's probably not going to get a huge gain, but it's more likely to get a huge gain than a quick screen because it's a designed run. There are blockers for him to run, and if the blockers do his job and he reads the blockers correctly, then you know that it'll be a good play. And finally, the third type of wide receiver screen that Arizona runs is what's called a bubble screen. This, unlike the last two, is run to the slot receivers. Now generally, slot receivers are the shorter, more athletic, and faster guys compared to the outside receivers who are taller and generally have better hands, or what you would call possession receivers. You'll notice that the list of players here is a lot longer than this one. In addition to the wide receivers who play inside, uh, David Roberts, David Douglas, and Bug Wright, Arizona also puts its running backs in that position, so you could see Nick Rigsby, Keola Antlin, or Greg Nuoco running out of that spot. Now a bubble screen is the same as a rocket screen, but to the opposite side. You have the outside receiver cracking. So he comes to the outside linebacker or the nearest guy. It could be the free safety, depending upon how the defense is lining up. The outside receiver, just like the, um, the inside receiver, just like the outside receiver did on a rocket screen, takes a step back and makes a half circle behind the line of scrimmage and then comes back towards the line of scrimmage so that when he catches the ball, it's an easy run and his momentum is going forward. So with the bubble screen, the quarterback looks this way to his right to deflect the safety to look that way. He then turns to his left and throws to the inside receiver on the swing pattern up this way. Now you'll notice that the cornerback is blocked. That's just the way it works. The, uh, the inside guy, he has momentum. He knows what he's going to do. So it's a lot easier for him to beat this cornerback with a move or even run over him if he can. Another advantage to the bubble screen is that if the defense is in man coverage, the cornerback could trail the outside receiver coming inside. If that works, then you have a big play. So there's a little insight to what Arizona does on offense every Saturday. The screen is a very common play in college football, but none more so than what Arizona does. You can see it at least 10 times a game, depending upon how the defense is playing. For DailyWildcat.com, this is Tim Koch.